narcissistic people are very shame based people. So to avoid taking responsibility for their own feelings and their own inner shame, they look to pass the blame. They're also very entitled people. So in order to get their own way, they're very quick to guilt others, to shame others, so that the narcissist themselves can have everything their own way. As they are entitled people, they don't get other people's personal values or beliefs, they don't respect boundaries, they just see these as a challenge and game on to be taken down, to have everything their own way. And one way they do this is by guilt tripping you. So this video is to explore several different ways a narcissist will emotionally manipulate you to guilt trip you into the narcissist getting away with something or getting their own way or keeping you on side. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism. So one of the first things that a narcissist might do is if you try to call them out on something, they'll bring up something you did. The narcissist, what about is it? What about ism? The narcissist, what about ism? So when they turn around to you and say, what about when you? So that instantly brings you back to a place when you did something that you might feel ashamed for. So then you are starting to feel ashamed. You then might find yourself defending yourself to them and they no longer have to defend themselves to you. And with a narcissist who believes that they're entitled to do to you what you're not allowed to do to them, if you try to bring up the past, they turn around and accuse you of always bringing up the past, living in the past, not letting things go. However, they're more entitled to bring up the past if it serves them to get away with something and claim, what about when you? Or a narcissist can just turn around and simply say, after all I've done for you. So they're literally going to use what they did for you against you to get their needs met by you, which shows they only ever did that thing for you because they wanted to get something from you. And they often resent having to do that in the first place for you. So they just turn around and say, ask you for something, you let them know that you've already got plans and you've already explained to them that they that you've got plans, but they're envious that you've got plans and they want you to drop your plans and be un inconsistent for other people and serve them. And you stand your ground and say no. And they turn around and say, wow, after everything I've done for you. And the thing is with narcissistic people, they've often done very little for you. However, because they have to continually bring up what they did for you to get that excessive praise from you whenever they do the slight thing, even things that they've done for themselves, but they turn around and say, look what I've done, because they're looking for that praise. They're looking for that gratitude. Yes, we can all hit a moment where we do things for others because we just care about them. It's that simple, we just care. And then we recognise they're being very disrespectful towards us and we can just think, after all I've done for them, how can they treat me in this way? And that, that isn't our cue to go and say to them, after all, for you, that's our cue to recognise that, oh, they're only here for me when they want something from me. When I need them, they disappear on me. Yet, I'm there for them when they want something from me. And I'm there for them, even when they've got nothing to offer for me. So you have to look at the person you're dealing with Another thing that they will turn around and do is accuse you of being selfish. So you start to question who you are as a person. They are trying to make out that you're not thinking about anybody else other than yourself. So you feel bad, you feel remorseful, you feel guilty and you give up your plans to serve them because you don't want them to think poorly of you because you care about them and often believe that they care about you and they see something within you that you don't see within yourself. With a narcissistic person, sometimes you're not asking for too much, you're simply asking the wrong person because they don't want to help you unless they can use it against you. So you can ask them to do something simple and they'll accuse you of being overly demanding, of asking for too much. So you 
start to ask for less and less, they lower your standards, they lower your expectations, they raise your expectations by doing things for you and being there for you in the first place. So you believe that you can rely upon this person as they can rely on you. Once they've got you where they want you, they stop doing these things for you. And then they accuse you of being too demanding of them, of not caring about them. And as you do care about them, you don't want to put them out. So you start to feel remorseful and you start asking less and less of then or they can turn around and say what about the children what will your friends think what will your family think they're trying to appeal to your conscience to get you to no longer make a choice that works in your best interest and instead makes a cho make a choice that works in the narcissist's best interest by bringing a third party into it that you're going to feel remorseful if it hurts that third party any genuine breakdown of a relationship that involves children where one doesn't want the relationship to end can lead to that person saying, what about the kids? Because they're heartbroken for their children. It's not done in a manipulative way. And this is one of the most powerful things about a narcissist. And they weaponize things that people can do unintentionally or without toxic motives with a narcissist it is to get everything their own way a narcissist will turn around and say why do you have to ruin everything why do you have to spoil everything you can literally just try to discuss your plan for the next week ahead and they turn around and say i don't want to talk about this now because they don't want to give you a direct answer on anything they want to leave you lingering. They don't want to discuss these things with you. So they say, oh, I don't want to talk about this now. And if you try to pursue the subject, the topic of conversation, they turn around and accuse you of ruining a good day and stomp off and fall silent on you. So you can't arrange anything with them. You can't agree with anything with them. If it's someone else's special occasion or celebration or achievement that a narcissist isn't going to be the centre of attention, they'll go all out to ruin by putting you in a mood and then turning around and say, oh, you're in a bit of a mood. This is why I can't go anywhere with you. You always have to ruin everything, don't you? They look to provoke that reaction from you so they can blame everything on you so that they don't have to take responsibility for their behaviour. Another one is when they turn around and say, if you loved me, you would. To make you feel bad, to get you to change no, your no into a yes, to serve them, to get you to prove to them that you do care by changing who you are as a person. When it shows they don't care about you, they don't respect who you are as a person because they want to change your values and beliefs to serve them or those you never take my side because if somebody else's opinion doesn't match the narcissist then that other person is wrong and if you try to stick up for the other person or defend somebody else in any way a narcissist is going to play the victim and claim that you're the one that never takes their side so you feel they're appealing to your compassion in one sense because you then feel bad for them and try to explain, no, it's not like that. It's just a different point of view. Oh, I knew it would be my fault. So you're the one that constantly questions yourself. And there's another one. When when they turn around and you're calling them out and they just turn around and say, I knew it'd be my fault. They're literally trying to get you to then turn around to them and say, no, no, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean it was your fault at all. And you'll find yourself apologising to them for the very things that they are actually doing to you. With a narcissist, it's that repeat pattern of behaviour and it's learning to recognise the patterns and the games that they are playing so that you can learn to step away and no longer play. 
if anyone has any phrases they heard please do add those into the comments for people reading through thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel it's greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel i'm elizabeth shaw this channel is all about narcissistic behavior to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse if you do find the information helpful on the channel please do subscribe if you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse i do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description if you're looking for someone to speak to i have partnered with better help and their sponsored link is also in the video description if you're not able to go no contact with a narcissist or you might meet one in a workplace i do have a new book out out now on amazon which is 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people i shall add the link to that in the video description if you'd like to go and check that out go and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye